What is up legends? Martin Legend coming at you with semi-final number two of Battle of the Best Position World Cup. Loose forwards versus centers. Winners go on to face the Cinderella story, the team that shouldn't have made it this far, but they managed to do it, the scrum offs. So let's quickly run through the squad. Let's just get straight into it. We've got loose forwards, Michael Hooper, Ardi Savia, Dwayne from Yellen, Victor Vito, Warren Whiteley, Liam Squire, Richie McCall, Kieran Reed, Sam Kane, Akira Yohani, Scotty Kambottom, David Pocock, James Haskell, Danny Barrett, Sia Kulisi, Namari Vakatawa, Buni, uh, Billy Bunipola, Matt Hodgson, Vaya Fafita, Sukumboze Noche, Liam Messon, Willem Alberts, and Luke Whitelock. For the midfielders, we've got Nami Lao Mapi, Vince Asso, Ma'a Nonu, Damian Dalene, Sam Vaka, Sonny Bill Williams, John De Villiers. Will he get replaced within five minutes? Andre Esterhazen, Brad Barrett, Tavita Kurandrani, Lucanio Am, Tana Umaga, Conrad Smith, who's just been kicking position away the whole time. Don't know what's up with that. But anyway, Tomasi Thama, one of the players of the competition so far. Jesse Creel, Alama Iramaya, John De Jong, Atta Renten, Jan Serfontein, Jack Goodyear, JJ Engelbrecht, Robbie Fruin. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into semi-final number two. Let's go! So legends, what is my prediction for this match? I firmly believe the loose forwards is my team. And if they get up against the scrum offs, the scrum offs have no chance. But they first need to make it through these midfielders. Let's have a look what happens. Anyway, we've got Sam Kane with immediate gap for Akira Yohani. And we've got Richie McCall getting into a massive amount of space. We've got number two at scrum off and that of course is Adi Savia. High tackle from number 12 of course is Tana Umaga. He's no, no, um, he not, penalt, conceding penalties is nothing new to him. Akira Yohani. Oh, he believes he's got 60 meters in him. Can he slot this? Akira Yohani, he absolutely moosed it. But he didn't quite have the direction. Distance was no problem. Now we clearly know Akira Yohani can slot one from 60. John de Villiers surprisingly still on the field. Siakulisi catches Tavita Kurandrani with a high tackle. This is the teams that will give us some grit to the match. But we know. Can Tavita Kurandrani put this one over from 55? Then both teams need to be wary come the 50 meter line. Here's the kick. Tavita Kurandrani. He strikes it well, but I think it's going to go slightly left. And he also didn't quite have the distance. So we know Akira Yohani can moose it. Tavita Kurandrani can also probably put it over from 50. So both teams need to be careful. They need to be wary when it comes to 50 meters out. Another high tackle. What is going on in this match? We've got Andre Estrazen with the yellow card. This match so far. <coughs> Both teams have not been scared to put in the massive, massive hit. But that, of course, is the big show who's out. I believe Akiriani will not go for goal from here. He goes for touch and he puts it out pretty much as far as he can. Loose forwards should, in fact, have the jumping ability in the lineouts. Who is their target? It is, in fact, Victor Vito, number four. The loose forward should have the rolling wall advantage as well, but they're not getting anywhere with this one. Michael Hooper with the pass, and we've got number 12 of call, David Pocock in a huge gap, and he gets the offload through to none other than Liam Squire. And they made it, they made the one man advantage pay. Will Akira Yohani put this easy one over to make it 7 0, almost half time? And he has, oh, he shanks it to the left. He's not used to missing kicks from this distance in this competition so far. Andre Estrays in the big show back from his stint in the naughty chair. <coughs> Tavita Kurandrani putting it so the midfielders can compete. And they do, but not quite effective enough. The loose forwards manage to keep hold of the ball. They've got Sam Kane at scrum off. And Sam Kane with the offload. But Tana Umaga stealing the ball straight back with the wayward pass. Will the loose forwards be able to, to stem this tide of attack from the midfielders and go into half time leading 5 
to nothing. John de Villiers, I'm very surprised he's still on the field. He hasn't played five minutes of this competition so far. Big show with the boss to Stu. I believe that was Damien de Allende, but not going anywhere. Vince Asso getting taken to the ground. The midfielders are not letting up. The midfielders scrum off Brad Barrett passing. And we've got a massive tackle on Ma'anonu. The loose forward seem to have stolen this one. And no, it's still by the midfielders. Will they get five points? It doesn't seem like they're on their way to five points anytime soon. Just starting to get a bit of dominance, putting a few phases together. Brad Barrett with the carry. The midfielders are playing. But they're not getting into the 22. They've been playing now for 15 minutes past last time to barely get into the 22. Big show. Will he make up for his indiscretions earlier in the first half? <clears throat> Number two, of course, Vince Asso with the pass. And we've got in a massive amount of space. We have Sam Vaca with the try. Will Tavita Kurundrani put this one over? Will it be 7-5 going into half time? I believe he will. And again, he shanks it to the right. Kicking has been really, really important in this competition. So half time, 5 all. Let's get straight into second half. Akira Yohani, will you kick it shallow enough for your team to be able to compete? And he obliges slightly. Will they get there? Will they have to speed? No, they do not. But this, he's absolutely left on his own. But they still managed to keep hold of the ball. Brad Barrett. Oh, and a forward pass. I don't believe that was forward, but that is not my decision to make. I believe that was backwards, but that's neither here nor there. Sam Kane with the put in. Are they going to go wide? Are they going to go towards their right wing? Danny Barrett, who's been formidable in this competition. Oh, but the midfielders take a scrum from the loose forwards. It feels like I'm in upside down world at the moment. <clears throat> the loose forwards need to steal this ball back. We've got the Masi Thama who get, gets taken down with a huge tackle. But the, the midfielders still manage to keep hold of the ball. Ma'anonu gets driven back in a huge tackle. Nami Lamapi passes to Tano Maga. Putting Lakanya Am in a huge amount of space, but they just can't seem to get the offload when it's necessary. <clears throat> Brad Barrett with the pass to Damien Dalende, and Damien Dalende, true to form, doesn't pass the ball. Oh, the loose forwards stole a ruck. Will they make the midfielders pay for their lack of support? Kieran out, Richie McCaw at scrum off. All he needs to do is get the pass away. He should have gotten the pass away to Hickenbottom. Hickenbottom was in a huge amount of space. We have number four, Victor Vito, in a huge amount of space, but he has no support, which means the loose forwards, the midfielders can just steal the ball back, give it to their pace man, to Masi Thama, but he gets taken down by a huge tackle. Loose forwards with a line out. Couple of placements here. Loose forwards with a line out on the halfway line. We are still 5 all in this match. Something needs to give. They are going towards the back. They are going towards Warren Whiteley, but they throw in skew. That's just not good enough today. <coughs> Ma Nonu with the cutout pass to Big Show Andre Esterazen. Will the loose forwards be able to steal this ball back and make something happen? Someone needs to step up of either one of these two teams. Of course. And that's a kick when the time is done. And it's a tied ball game. Why would you even consider doing that? Would they regret this moment? And we have Victor Vito. Victor Vito in a huge amount of space. But again, no support. But the loose forwards seem to just be getting there now. Just fast enough. Huge cutout pass. Loose forwards. Oh, but we have a huge, massive steal by Tavita Kurundrani. And we have Tomasi Thama in a space. But Siakulisi is there with the massive tackle. 
Dono Magat scrum off, passing the ball to Ma Anonu, formidable centre combination. Andre Estreisen gets driven back in a tackle. It's not often where he's the smallest guy on the field. John de Villiers gets taken down and John de Villiers has managed to play 95 minutes in this match so far. Advantage to the centres. The loose forwards were offside and they steal the ball. This is where greatness is made. Tavita Kurandrani, can you sink this one for the W? Kavita Kurandrani lines it up, absolutely no pressure on him. And he shanks it to the left. We will go into overtime because this is a semi-final match. Tavita Kurandrani with overtime kickoff, extra time at least. He kicks it straight towards, oh, but they managed to regain the kickoff. Well done, midfielders. I support the loose forwards, but you deserve to win this match. Umaga with a decent carry. We've got number two, who is Vince Asso with the pass. And Tavita Kurundrani gets taken down. He's missed two kicks to possibly take the W. Kieran Reed, uh, I mean Richie McCall gets taken down. He gets absolutely nowhere. Victor Vito with the pass and that is another high tackle. Will they go for the line out? They've lost the line out so far. Oh, massive moment! Look, can your arm with a yellow card? That is a massive moment. Will the numbers advantage be all the loose forwards need? Akira Yohani with a huge kick into touch. More replacements. Basically, the bench benches have been emptied by now. Will the loose forwards be able to win this? The midfielders must be very wary of giving a penalty away at this distance. <coughs> Sam Squire, I mean Luke Whitelock, getting the take of the line out. Yohani with the kick downfield, and he puts them into right into their own five meter line. The midfielders with the line out. This match is heating up, gentlemen and ladies. Will the loose forwards win this line out and put a possible seal on this? No, the midfielders take it down, courtesy of Robbie Fruin. Number 23, of course, Tim Nana Williams. Will the loose forwards steal the rocky? And they do just that. And they are in a huge amount of space. And that, I believe, is Scott Hickenbottom. Will this be enough? Will this be the W for them? I believe it might just be enough. Akiriani, if you sink this. Oh, and he shanks it to the left. The kicking has been absolutely horrendous in this match so far. <clears throat> we see more replacements. I think the benches must be close to being emptied out. Billy Vunibala bringing his formidable frame onto this match. And the midfielders are not done yet. Oh, but that is a massive steal. Loose forwards need to get to retain this ball and kick the ball out. <coughs> oh, but it's a knock-on. Look at your arm back on the field, of course. Number 22 for the midfielders. Of course, Robbie Fruin. <coughs> Advantage over. Now it's anybody's ball game. The midfielders seem to just have the rucking advantage at the moment. And the midfielders, will Sonny Bo Williams get over? And he just does not, but that is try. Let's see. Tavita Kurunrani, can you finally just kick one over? All you need is just this one. John de Jong with the try when it really counts. Now, there's an opportunity here. And it's missed once again. After extra time, it is still a tied ball game. What is going on here? Akiriani with the kickoff. Will the midfielders get this one back? I mean, the loose forwards get this one back. Yes, they do. Now they just need to retain the ball. And Siakulisi in a huge amount of space. Oh, and the midfielders steal the ball at ruck time. 
Not getting it. And it's Lucan, your arm in some space. And we have number one, Nami Laomapi, who is running away from everybody. Will he get under the balls? Yes, Nami Laomapi. Cometh the moment, cometh the man. First touch of the match. And he scores right underneath the balls. Can't beat the Kurunrani miss this one. He's injecting himself into the game nicely. And yes, he does. On cue, misses the kick. <clears throat> we have six and a half minutes left of extra time. Akiriani with the kickoff. This has been a roller coaster match. Kicking has been disappoint disappointing, but rugby has not been disappointing. We have benches emptied out. We have midfielders with ball in hand. Five minutes to play in extra time. Midfielders, of course, with the five, 15 to 10 advantage. Will the, the midfielders just be able to keep ball in hand? At the moment, yes, they, they are just be able. But that is a steal from the loose forwards. Can the loose forwards get over the whitewash again? And can Akira Ioani put it over when it truly, truly matters? We have a huge cutout pass, and that of course is number 14, who is none other than... Oh, but that is a massive, massive tackle. Danny Barrett just not being able to get that ball back into the field of play. Will the midfielders win this line-out and most likely seal the win? They're throwing at Liam Squire, and Liam Squire is still the line-out. I'm sorry, I meant to say white lock. Will the midfielders... Put one over when it truly matters. And then Akira Ioani. Can he step up under pressure and slot one when it really matters? David Pocock with the... I mean, James Haskell. There's so many replacements on the field. It's tough to keep track of who is where. Kieran Reed, And we've got a pass to Danny Barrett. Danny Barrett keeping the ball alive. All the midfielders need to do is just get hands on the ball. Will this be it? No, they are not committing any bodies to the ruck. Only a few minutes of extra time. Number 21, Liam Messam at scrum off. And the midfielders seem to have stolen this one. Now they just need to keep their composure, kick the ball out, and it's a W. Oh, but the loose forwards are going to play on the advantage. They cannot make a mistake now. This absolutely needs to go for five. They just need to kick the ball in hand. They're going towards the open side. Or the blind side, actually, I should say. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Another upset. The loose forwards is out of this competition. Let's have a look at some stats. The loose forwards just didn't have ball. That's, they had more line breaks, but they just could not get their hands on the balls. Okay, this has been a roller coaster. But I've enjoyed every single step of this. Next time, it is the grand final. I, would n I never thought I would say this. Scrum offs versus midfielders. Be sure to tune in. Anyway, until next time, Martin Legend. Peace.